case of the ancient Maya, they're a culture that emerged surrounded by trees and they use these trees to their advantage. Sometimes we see that they're removing all the trees and they're keeping certain ones in the landscape. We see this sacred tree called Kopal being left and it's providing this incense for Maya rituals and we see the relationship that communities have with trees through time. So as an earth scientist, when I think about trees, I think about the waxy coating on the surface of the plant leaf. It's like the skin of the forest. Those waxy molecules are sequestered for millions of years and give me clues to the ancient forests and also to the climate that sustained them. I was published in an anthology called Shaking the Tree and Shaking the Tree, of course, has the connotations of sort of like shaking things up a bit and not accepting the status quo and illuminate kind of questions of the day, questions of identity. The best writing has something urgent at its core. It's absolutely imperative to shake the tree. In graph theory, a tree is a special type of graph. A graph is just nodes connected by edges. It looks like a tree when you draw it. A lot of times we have a rooted tree, so you'll have one vertex, and in math we put the root at the top, and the tree grows down. You can use trees to model groups. You can use them to model geometric structures that sort of live in space and have some algebra inside them. Having a tree structure tells you something really nice about the underall algebraic structure of whatever it is that we're modeling. The vast forests of the American West, they're in everyone's imagination, and yet, as we look at the contemporary landscape, as we imperil our forests and we lose the biodiversity of the trees themselves and that which they shelter, we can find that in fact that loss of biodiversity has economic ramifications. Saving the forest, enhancing the forest, planting a tree is a very, very useful commercial enterprise, but it's also a really useful way to bring us all together in a kind of fairly simple embrace of the non-human world. From all of us at USC Dornsife, Happy holidays, and I wish you a prosperous new year.